Hi, Earth Signs. I hope all is well. This is Daisy here, aka Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to do your May love reading, okay? So this is for Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, okay? Someone rising, Mercury, and North Node. So check your chart. All right, dear Brighton, more loving ancestors, what messages do you have for Earth Signs? Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Someone rising, Mercury, and North Node. Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Someone rising, Mercury, and North Node. Earth signs. What messages do you have for earth signs? Forgiving and learning. All right. Messages for earth signs here. Then we got free yourself. Okay. Then we got true love at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. All right. So basically, earth signs. I'm seeing a couple of things here. You could have went through a tumultuous, a toxic situation here with the forgiving and learning card. And what this is saying is what lesson, it's karmic lesson, a karmic cycle with somebody. And it's saying here, what karmic lesson did you need to learn that you were not learning in previous cycles or previous incarnations or previous relationships? Okay. And then also to not saying that you need to bring the person back into your life, but how can you practice forgiveness for their low vibrational behavior so that you can free yourself in order to find true love? All right. That's what I'm seeing here. Another thing that I am seeing here is that there could have been someone that you are dealing with that's at a distance from you and they were just backstabbed and betrayed in a tumultuous karmic situation here with the forgiving and learning card. And now they're working on freeing themselves, right? Healing themselves, right? Come, getting to a better place, being an emperor or empress so that they can come to you because they see you as their true love. All right. That's what I'm seeing here for the month of May 2020 in love. All right. Let's get the kipper. Dear Brighton, we loving ancestors. What messages do you have? For the Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What messages do you have for Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? We have message here. Yeah, someone wants to um reach out to you. And then look, we got main mail. Yeah, someone now sees you as like their um their counterpart now. After kind of putting you through some fuckery or going through some madness themselves, now they're starting to see, okay, wow, this is what it's like for the shoe to be on their other foot. They're seeing you as their true love. It sucks that it had to go, all that had to happen for them to see that. But for some people, that's what it takes, a taste of their own medicine. What messages do you have for the earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo for May 2020 in love? Then we have despair. Ooh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling like something tumultuous has happened in this person's life. I'm also feeling like this could be karma too, though, for them. For not being, stepping up into their power and doing what they needed to do. And because you have the despair card here. I feel like someone is going through a lot of like uh, nine of swords, dark knight of the sword, soul, ten of swords type of energy. You know, five of cups type of energy for what they did. But you know, this is the thing. You made up your bed and you got to lay in it too. And this is a part of their karmic lesson as well. Clarify, um... Clarify forgiving and learning for earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Clarify forgiving and learning. Clarify forgiving and learning. Clarify forgiving and learning. Oh, we got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, backstab and betrayal. This person had to go through it. They had to go through it. And experience it in order to be able to learn their lesson so that they can step up and become, and become this main male, become the emperor. Hmm. Wow. And whoever, I'm feeling that whoever they chose you over, they thought the grass was maybe greener on the other side or that this person was going to be better or something like that. And it wasn't. Clarify for yourself. Yeah, with the judgment, because this person is now recognizing, okay, you know what? They're going through a judgment phase right now. And they're also doing a judgment of the people that are in their life. I'm like, okay, is this... Something that I want to deal with long term. Is this really what it's going to get me to that spiritual fulfillment that I felt was such, such and such or that I want to experience for my life, for the rest of my life long term? Especially with everything going on in the world, people are doing a lot of assessments in their life. But I feel like with the three of wands here, this person is making plans. This person could be at a distance and they could be making plans to come towards you, right? But with the judgment card being here too, with the free yourself, this person is also like taking a judgment. They're under judgment by the universe to get out of whatever toxic, tumultuous situation that they're in. And also too, they're under judgment for whatever toxicity and turmoil that they brought to your door. Okay, earth sign. Wow, that's exactly what I'm seeing. Heavy energy already. Clarify true love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
clarify true love with the high priestess here oh so with the high priestess on the true love i feel like you uh, potentially have maybe seen this person in the dream state or gotten channelings and downloads that this is your person but they need to go through a karmic cycle another thing that i am seeing with the high priestess here on the true love is magic someone could have gone to a high priestess or ordered uh some services or something um to separate you and this person see so you got the emperor at the top of the deck a destined faded partnership here and this is coming out now too maybe they found out the person was doing that clarify the high priestess that's been common lately clarify the high priestess clarify the high priestess With the nine of swords here. Wow. Yeah, this person, their intuition is open now is what I'm seeing. Yep, Wheel of Fortune at the top of the deck. They know that this is destined. And I feel like this person feels really shitty for how they dealt with you with the nine of swords here. A lot of guilt and trauma and, and sleepless nights, dark night of the soul that they're going through. I said that earlier with the uh, forgiving and learning card. I felt that heavy. Because their intuition is turned down, turned on now. Now they realize like, whoa, this person that I actually could have really had a good time with, could have been destined with, I treated them like shit or whatnot. And this is why I'm dealing with so much chaos and drama in my life with the judgment card. Yeah, basically. Clarify message, please. Clarify message for um, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Clarify message. Clarify message for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo with the magician here. Ooh, this is what I was saying. I felt like that someone, oh, because then look at you got the hangman right, was right under that. The hangman, Pisces energy could be dealing with the Pisces or Virgo, Gemini here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, or uh, Sagittarius with this card here, the Wheel of Fortune, that's Jupiter energy. Well, with this magician here and the message, someone has gotten some insight and yeah <laughs> someone found out that magic is being done or was being done on your connection that's why i feel like the forgiving and learning card is here it's like okay you know what this person was probably under high levels of manipulation or something like that not excusing their behavior but they need to do the work to show you that they are ready to be the person that you need them to be after they realize that the magic was done and they step into their spiritual power with the main male here clarify the magician clarify the magician Clarify the Magician for Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Clarify the Magician with the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yep. And then the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck too. Yeah, so this person wants to come and apologize and give and like make amends to the situation after they probably rejected you, left you out in the cold with the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy here. But they realized that it was magic that was making them reject you and do all these weird fucking things to you, you know? Not excusing it, but they realize that because their intuition is on with the high priestess now. And now they feel hella guilty because they're reflecting on their behavior and realizing how ass backwards they are. Oh, that's such a can of worms to be up in. Oh, certain people, I would just not want to be you when certain feelings and realizations hit. Goodness. Oh, because the sick feeling that you get, it's like, I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, man. Clarify main mail. Clarify main mail. Clarify main mail with the Ten of Cups here. So with this Ten of Cups, what I'm basically what I'm seeing here um, is this person sees, you know, fulfillment with you, ultimate happiness. They want a family and they see long term with you and they want to be your, I want to be your man. Zapper and Roger. <laughs> What's the main mail, please? Clarify main mail. With the eight of swords but they feel trapped and bound yeah they want to reach out with the message card here but they feel trapped and bound the emperor here at the bottom of the deck they could be also bound to something toxic or maybe stuck or trapped in a situation right now that they're trying to get themselves out of here is what i'm seeing the person who backstabbed and betrayed them that was their karma for what they did to you too or this person that did magic and stuff like that is trying to trap them and bind them which is kind of like impacting their ability to step into their full power and just take that leap of faith with the full card i feel like the fool was the fool no sorry i'm see i'm hearing full card energy maybe you're dealing with the aries or something like that um to come towards you and make amends with the knight of cups here clarify despair 
Wow. Clarify despair here. With the seven of swords. Yeah, because of lying, trickery, deception. Yeah. And then you left that you left the ass and you went to go do your own thing and find happiness with the nine of pentacles here. And now with the and now they're this person is like, okay, dang, like this person is like doing bad all by themselves, right? Because you can do bad, 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 bad all by yourself. And because you're doing bad all by yourself, this person's like, fuck, like I played all those different games and this person went and glowed up on me. Now I don't even know what to do now. How do I even approach them? Because they're such a bad bitch that it's like shit. They might just see me as a peasant and not even fuck with me because they, they could still be triggered or dealing with the trauma of what I did before. A lot of swords energy out here. This person is really in their thoughts and I'm sensing a lot of heavy drinking to um, earth signs on behalf of this person could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. That is your reading for May 2020 in love. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.